Thanks to EA for the game code. Hello lovelies, Jake Yuhani here with the same old microphone. So to start, I want to apologize for my voiceover. It's 2 in the morning. I'm not usually up this late. I'm sorry. But welcome back. We haven't done a speed build in a while. So today we're building a small restaurant in New Appaloosa of Chestnut Ridge. Because I'd been working on this small restaurant set for my save file when I got the email that my application to join the EA Creator Network has been approved. So thank you EA for this Sims 4 Horse Ranch game code. They also gave me one code to give away. So I'll try to get another video out, hopefully before the 20th. I'll be putting the code in the next video and it'll be an early bird guess the worm kind of thing. I hope I'll get the time to anyway. All right, so I'm building this on the small lot where the starter home would be. I wanted to name it O'Malley's Saloon and Dining House, but the game didn't allow it because it's just too long. I guess kind of like the namesake. If you know the song where he goes, Abraham De Lacy, Giuseppe Casey, Thomas O'Malley. Yeah, that one. Right. So I didn't want a lot of seating available. And so I didn't need more than the one chef station. But you could of course add one, as well as more seating, because there still is room for that. I only did, I think, 14 actual seats. And then for the outdoor seating, I only did bar stools and kitchen island because I did not want diners there for this build. On the upper floor, I put the washrooms and a sort of lounge. I never like playing restaurants where the dining area is split between two floor levels. Like, I know it's not that much of a hassle, but I just don't like it. Another change you could make to this if you were inclined is to turn this into a live-in business lot and use the upper floor as the owner's apartment. On that note, I did use the roof trick again in this build. So if you did want to change the rooms below them, make sure you save those roofs for later by dragging them out by their arrows over to one side. And I forgot to include this in the video, but I also did set up the employee uniforms to the Zillow ones that came with the horse ranch pack, except the chefs. And I used the diner preset menu. Feel free to change either or both of those. All right, I'm really, really sleepy now. I don't know if I've talked long enough to last the video, but I mean, it's, it's my build. I never do anything complicated. Stay tuned for if I do manage to get that next video before the 20th. See you then. Bye.